Okay, I'm back. Had a couple viewers, so that's been fun. There, my new Harper. And, uh... We just finished Chapter 7. We're starting Chapter 8. We saw Nicole, she helped us get the SOS beacon. We stuck that on an asteroid and launched that bad boy out into space. So hopefully somebody gets our SOS. Unfortunately, we can't read the SOS because our comms are out. So I'm heading back to comms, try and put that online for Chapter 8, Search and Rescue. That just goes to hydroponics. That's locked. There's a store and bench. I actually just never go. I don't know why they're dark like that. Alright, off we go. Oh, look at that. Engineering deck. That's why everything looks so samey. It's all the same deck. That's not my screen. Alright. The bridge, apparently. The bridge. Yep. The bridge. That's, uh... I was hoping it would be. That seems like a bad noise. Very good. Very not good. I don't like any of those noises. <coughs> at all. Welcome back, Derek. Everything. Oh boy. We're moving again, so. Like, a big crash and us stopping, the doors being partially pried open. Uh, nothing was knocked so loose that it couldn't just continue working. Ray. Now arriving at the bridge. I think one of the most interesting things about the Ishimura is just how bare bones it is. Like, almost nothing has been done to make the ship aesthetic we and, like, livable. Uh, Isaac, a ship just shot in. The USM Valor. They must have heard our SOS. That fast? What's a military ship doing way out here? Out on patrol? Whatever. Right now I take a rescue from a fucking magpie. Head for communications. Once we fix the comms array, we can get all the answers we need. And right, they, I had forgotten that they called their faster than light uh, travel capability the shock drive. Look at that cracker start. In honor of Hideki Ishimura, mission by the Concordance Extraction Corporation 2443, 2440, With iron will that they embark on the most daring of all endeavors. That's a cool black. Alright, let's quickly check this map to see if there's just any nearby doors this way. That's just blocked. Actually, what? Wait. That. Cryo. Heavy cryo. <laughs> Hold on. Ah. Freaking no. That's the front of the bridge. There's nothing out there. Weird. Okay. Well, I. I mean, that's still down there? It is. Gosh. Oh, that's open. Those weren't. A 
doing? What am I doing? Seem to want me to go to the crow's nest on the Now it doesn't. I've definitely been through here a few times. Oh. Okay, now, this is taking me to the, crow, the crow's nest. The map, I feel, is lying. Hey. Storage room. Wanted to check this. What's that noise? Still locked. Right. Who's out? Wanting to take off the arm. That one didn't matter. Okay, I'm super cool. Quarantine lifted. I have a lot of bodies to fucking search. on local comms. If whatever's wrong with the comms array is spreading... No, that's not it. So, uh, uh, the door to communications should be open. You can head down to the comms control station. And, Isaac, watch what you say. I think someone's listening in. I think someone's in. These are probably clearance level two or three. Access the tunnel. Yes. Aha! Low ammunition. Clearance confirmed. Clearance confirmed. Clearance confirmed. Oh, I used so many of them, but it was not really worth it. I love the line gun so much. We got still one. Still just one. Ooh, but we're getting close. We're getting close. We're getting close to what we need for that new suit. That's exciting. to get fucking roasted. I will oblige you. Sounds like a wall vessel. There he is. Ugh, nice 
that worked. Wait, one. That might just die? Kill it? Maybe? Die? Guess not. There we go. There's a no- Ugh! get shot. I have a firewall. Good. Fine rack. Nice. Flame terror, even better. Already cut my way into this place. Bells? Okay. This door. Tom's access hall. I will say, the wall boys are a lot easier to deal with with the flames or being able to just generate a flame wall on top of them. Missing from little animal wearing a CEC jacket. Thought they were in all the. Uh... I thought they would be in all of the rooms like this. But I guess not. that aren't me seem to be dead. So, here I am. Communications log, first comms operator Bailey reporting. I want this on record. The ship is under attack, but Captain Matthias has refused to issue a distress call. And we all know why. This whole operation is illegal. Ages 7 was sealed off. They knew it, we knew it, and we all kept our mouths shut. That ends now. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. This is USG Shimura calling C. Wait, what the hell? Jesus. He took the whole comms array offline. It's over. Well, that do suck. <gasps> Money? The rig. I'm gonna need that. I don't know that that was on my to-do list, but it would have been. Now I can check it off. Ah. The Valor's in a holding position. How's the comms array? Huh. Fry? Someone hot-wired the dishes together and blew up the system. So we're screwed. No, it was sloppy work. Some of the dishes are intact. If I replace them and create a new circuit with no gaps, we could broadcast a signal. Short range That's only, part I do remember. but it should work. Okay, do it. I'll, uh, keep an eye on things here. <clears throat> now it's okay. I can fix this. I am, I am super engineer. Unsent message retrieved from array buffer. 
progress report, Captain Benjamin Mathias to Paragon Jordan, Una. Oh gosh. This will be my last transmission. Afterwards, I'll make sure our pilgrimage can be completed without interference. Oh gosh. We have successfully brought the Holy Marker on board. Dr. Kine, an expert on the original marker, is deciphering its secrets. Uh, forgive me for quarantining you just seven. Director Eckhart's work may have been inconvenienced, but I've been suffering some sort of epidemic. Regardless, Planet Crack begins tomorrow on schedule. CEC can scratch out its illegal operation now that the true prize is ours. Let's see Earth go try to cover this up. Altman be praised. But I saw. I love that they seem to be suffering some sort of epidemic because none of these people who are part of this cult really knows like what it's all about. Like clearance confirmed. They don't know that this whole necromorph thing is, you know, part of the plan. They think it's unrelated to Parker. Ruby Semiconductor, that might get us there. That might get us there. Anything else? Shot. Whitler armor. My left arm is feeling a little unarmored here. Right leg, actually. Both my legs. Use some armor on them. My friend. Buddy. There it goes. Right. Look though. Woo! Right too. Almost got me. Baby, go. There you are. Baby down. More fire. Nice. this worked in the original game, this was one of the more interesting uh, Zero-G ones, again, because you were stuck, you know, moving on surfaces. Let's uh, checking on the dryer. Never mind. Okay. Um, anyway. So, whoever else might be here eventually. We were stuck moving on the surfaces, the walls and things, and you had to leap between, you know, zip-zap. And so you couldn't move across these, and you had to basically just be moving around these panels, and then, like, leap. You couldn't get to this one because of the angles, so you'd have to go over here. You have to create, uh, get the circuit to be all blue. So you gotta bring it, pull out all these broken-ass ones. I think I can do that from down here, which will make things a lot easier than the first game. I just yoink out all the broken ones. Oh, I'm only working with good ones. Bring up the good ones. Order that.
pull it, right? Yeah. Have to go zero G for her. Grab this. All right. Actually, I gotta start from the blue. Let's start from where it's working. Oops. There we go. There. Broken ass. Good place it goes. Yes, it does. Okay, there's a working one. There. Right. That's a broken one. Doink it. Grab this working one. Back in there. Back in there. In the US. Why? Oh, yeah, okay. That's why it's weird. It goes up and around. Bam. Good one. Good. Here. That didn't do anything. Well. Oh, I can rotate this? No, oh, stop that. are telling me what weighs the electricity. Uh, uh, you. Mm. Has to go all the way around. Start however it gets there. So, I have to go there now. So the puzzle is very slightly different. It was just a little more, you know, find a good one to stick it in the hole until it was working. Rotating the right the other way. I really horses it in a race. Yep. Okay, so my orientation not matter uh, to how these things. Crud! I can't just go across there with that, but... And for this... Hey. There you go. There's a... Circus thing complete. That won't work. There we go. This. What? 
What do you mean that doesn't count? Oh, it has to pass through the center. Okay. Fine. I need this portion. How to... these L's right across. Good ones where I can use them. Hello. Honey. Cross just doesn't be useful unless I can. Turns out you were the one thing I didn't need. I think you got it. Try opening a channel to the Valor. Me. If there is any. Peace. No. Oh, well. I really feel like... You're superfluous. Right. Right. Let's 
minutes before we hit the go button. Pop in a little save. Smooshed by something. USM Valor, broadcasting on all frequencies to USG Ishimura in response to your SOS. We picked up your escape pod number 47 and are en route to your position. This message will repeat every 30 seconds until you respond. <laughs> all right, let's respond. Escape pod. Oh, fuck. The pod Hammond jettisoned. It had shit. That creature was inside. No, 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 no. USM Valor, come in. Come in, Valor. Oh, her signal isn't strong enough. Can we deploy the long-range antenna? No, something's blocking the blast doors over the comms array. The hell? There'll be a manual release over at maintenance. I'll go. Keep trying to reach them. Why is the manual release all the way in maintenance? These two are right next to each other, I think, but still. I really need to make that button. Keep it, buddy. The else here? That wasn't enough. I got more. Okay. Doors are more. I fucking keep forgetting it's a toggle to run. Hey, nice. I get to take the very open tram into the darkness. Yep. Not very creepy at all. That looked like a person. Why did that look like a person? That looks like a person who's alive. Oh god, it is a person who's alive. Bailey. It happened again. Third time in the last. However long it's been. I came in after shift and found Rousseau at the transmitter again. It looked like hell. I don't know if they'd even slept since the last time I caught them in here. Not, er not very reassuring to see the chief engineer in that state. Rousseau didn't hear me come in, so this time I just listened. They were talking to the relay crew again. Talking, then listening. They even laughed. How long has it been since anyone on this fucking ship laughed? I know I should say something to engineering. I've already told Rousseau over and over that we don't have comms relay crew, that the array is broken beyond repair, that no one is coming to save us. And they listen. It's like... can't keep those thoughts in their head. As if it's too much. I get it. Everything on the ship is too much. So this time, I just let them talk. If a broken transmitter and a mic full of static gives them something to hold on to, it even helps them. This ship running a little longer? Who am I to judge? And yeah, maybe I've talked into the same transmitter myself once or twice after hours. Just in case. Just like that poem says, Hope sings the tune without the words, and never stops at all. <sighs> It's weird. It's, it's it's messages like that that um make me 
wonder like how long there's ways that they present the story that make it seem like you arrive here like within a couple hours after literally the worst of it happens and so there are people still surviving and, and squirreling away um while you're going around and fixing things but then you read something like that and it's like are the hours including the time after we got here that he's talking about or is this supposed to have been days after everything all right, we got two nodes. Don't have a new suit yet. Should kind of want to hold on to the, the suit. This is totally done. Line gun is as done as it honestly needs to be. The only other things you get are projectile speed and the damage of the laser trap. And then there's the flamethrower, which good nodes. Oh. Lot of capacity, three da four capacities, three damages, one reload speed increase. I'm gonna hold on to him for now, see what the new suit gives me, especially if I'm hurt when I get it. I think HP should probably fill HP. I kinda wanna ride this tram back real quick just to see if there's anything I can do about this person. They seem to be alive, which is terrifying, because they also seem horrifically injured. Much closer. They're just hanging out there. When it turns green, it doesn't let me fire, so I can't even, like... They're suffering. Kinda sucks. Oh no. I need to refrain there. I was like, oh, that's a tall, lanky boy. Uh, oh, wait, I remember what the tall, lanky boys are! <laughs> they fall apart. And then their parts come after you. I'm speaking. Oh, nice. Here's a place I haven't been. <gasps> And it's got a weapon upgrade and a store, which means there will be another node. Health crate. Alright, we're gonna cross our fingers and hope that we have... Glad you're back. Oh, wow. I don't even need to sell anything to have enough. I've got 40,000 credits. Let's do this. Got some armor. Hell yeah. And beefinated. Alright, before we spend any money, sell this. Sell that anyway. Storage, state, air. Got one air, no state. Let's grab a stasis. There we go. Now we've got 15,000 left over. Pepper. Alright, we're going to... A 
doesn't look like the last suit. I think there's one more suit. In. more storage. Ooh, yeah, this is the level 4 suit. I thought there was one where something came over the top of it. They dead, right? Oh, where's my fire extinct? Back to that bench. <clears throat> Heck yeah. Oh yeah. Plasma well, cutter gains. Boom. What that last special. Melee attacks can knock enemies prone. Wow. That's neat. And we could just get that with two nodes. Suit got. Boom. Okay. Got. He says throw damage. Mm -hmm. uh, duration on stasis, good. What's this? Energy, stasis energy, also good. Oh, but HP. Then I wouldn't need to heal. Let's go, I think four stasis is good for now. I can grab that one later. And yeah, we'll do the plasma cutter later. We'll grab these three. Yeah. That'll fill me up. Look at all that health. Lots of Oh, the save was over by the bench. Okay, that's there we go. They made that like wait and not uh not totally clear that it accepted your and to summon the uh elevator so that you would stay close to the door, like tapping on it so that you could be right there. be experiencing turbulence in space. Thanks. Power nodes? Or pulse rounds? Fail? Air? Health? Or pulse rounds? Money. Gotten in trouble for selling but I guess I don't even pulse rifle. I, mean, I don't like the pulse rifle. I think now you decide to close. Okay. Coming off without a fight. 
Isaac, there's no time. There is if I use the ADS cannons. Manual targeting like before. I can shoot it right off the hull. I got this. You focus on the Valor. Will do. <laughs> I can shoot it right off the hull. Oh, man. Turned into a real bamf, hasn't he? All right. Pop in another quick save before I do this fun bit. Why am I getting the crap kicked out of me? Oh. Useful. Whoa. Stop. 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 Goodness gracious. I do not remember this being so difficult. <laughs> that. Holy hell! I don't like these. What? Like, sea mines? dead because I I can't avoid the sweep. I can't avoid it. <laughs> Do anything about this. Incoming sweep. I'm gonna die. Ah, oh, please, no. I do not have enough health for that. 
Those fucking sweeps. They're just like, yeah, you can't, uh, you can't avoid these. You just get hit by them. Just uh, vertically, very rapidly. It's really hard to dodge anything flying at me like that. fast enough. Goddamn door! Where's my items? What? I thought I came straight out and I hopped down there. Where's the fucking door? 
There it is. That sucks, and I have no more healing. So I couldn't even get out of here. Bad time to unlock. Bad time to unlock. Daniels, what happened? Something shook the whole crew deck. What hit us? An asteroid? Those things got onto the Valor. A rescue ship. They found your escape pod. And the one that used to be Chen. It God damn it! The Valor scrap. By the time another ship hears the SOS beacon, we'll all be dead. No, that's what I was telling you. I found an executive shuttle on the crew deck. Intact. And the log says that shuttle's missing its singularity core. It can't get us home. Wait. Maybe it can't. If the Valor's singularity core is okay, I could salvage it. Install it on that shuttle, we're fucking out of here. Where's the Valor now? It's near comms. Keep us stable. Isaac, I'll grab a suit and EVA onto the Valor. Meet me there. We'll find that core together. Let's see you see clean up their own mess. I'm saving what I can. <laughs> Still weird that I didn't find him in hydroponics like in the original game. Seems like a good moment. Ryan. Gee. Pretty interesting. Oh, they want me to go straight out to the Valor. Okay then. into us. I seem to remember... I, I'm on board. The Valor's trashed, but I can make it to the bridge. The hell was that? The fuck do you think it was, Hammond? Exiting zero gravity. Exiting vacuum. Same shit that we were fighting this whole time. I want the power node. Give me. Twenty hours. <sighs> I remember, right? Singularity core is a little leaky. And they have a pulse generator that the uh, fuckers decided to need super speedy necromorphs. That's it all. Ripper blades. Isaac, we have a problem. The Valor's carrying a 12 megaton warhead. The crash hit the torpedo bay hard. I need you to handle that nuke right away, before something sets it off. Handle 12 megatons? You know I'm not a nuclear engineer, right? I don't need you to be. Just stabilize the warhead and eject it away from the Ishimura. 
Christ, Hammond. No one trained you to carve up monsters with a plasma cutter either. You haven't let us down yet. I don't know the meaning of phrase. Like heels. Oh, <laughs> hell yes. Or yes. Okay. Now I'm not on death's doorstep. To be sleeping pods. Soldiers habited. That sucks. Oh, well, you've been decapitated. Not nice. Light on. Still some skeleton ash. Yup. That better be hot. Definitely fast, boy. Okay. Ah! The soldiers must have had stasis units on their armor. When That's they returned, those units merged right into their bodies, changed them. They're fucking fast, Isaac. Stay sharp. Soldiers had stasis. Three heavens. Well, that's that doesn't mean valor. That door. The door I want is over here. Some Valor Destroyer class. Launch 2488 CE. Why not? Or it'll shipyard, soul sector, earth defense force. Those who do not bend to the will of heaven must instead raise hell. Next blog. Eyes only. Priority block. Attention. Commander Cadigan from Chief of Staff Earth Defense. Operation White Light Theater. Aegis System. Aegis 7. Objective. Deep Cleanse. The EC Vessel USG Ishimura in breach of EarthGov System Isolation Order. Believed to have recovered Marker 3A. Special Ops has confirmed that system... Confirmed the system, but unable to provide planet location. Special Ops Advisory follows. Exercise extreme caution. If Marker 3A has been recovered, onboard infection is a credible threat. Shock point to Aegis system. Move to position out of local scope range and wait. await signal from Ishimura to confirm location. So they literally were in the system, just hanging out out there, looking for us, and then we sent the SOS. So like, aha, there they are. Objective, secure marker 3A. If infection is present, initiate sterilization protocol Eurydice. If infection is not present, initiate containment protocol Apollo. All personnel must, without exception, submit a full psychological examination uh, during debriefing. So they're already aware of what the marker can do. This is Commander Cadigan to all hands. We have been boarded by hostile forces. Hostiles are aliens! Repeat, aliens! And extremely dangerous! All personnel to arms! Fire at will! It didn't go well. Alright, there's a battery in here that I can pull. But I suddenly wish I hadn't. Oh, okay. Going to hit them with stasis field on the pulses. Slows them momentarily. 
What is happening over there? Oh shit, a bat got in the room. No legs for you. Oh. Funny. Looks like there better not be a regenerator in here. Look at that. How does it fire? Alright, I probably need. This should go to that node I wanted. Hell yeah. Give me. Is it weird that I'm more comfortable hanging out like this than in a Discord call? I mean, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, gets a bear. <laughs> gonna give it a big hug. Um, I, I generally like talking directly to people, but I mean, I'm a more extroverted person, I guess, and so I don't find it draining to talk to people, but I know more introverted people do find that to be draining. So maybe that's a part of it. Get out of my way, battery. See if there's somewhere down here for me to shove you. There. Ooh, you didn't see that. Okay. Huh? Died in his bed. Well, died in somebody's bed. I don't see spot pick any batteries. That's nice. So maybe I'll just take that battery up the elevator with Oop, the tiny there. Well, now I know why I needed the battery. It's to replace this battery. <laughs> Sometimes things just work out like that. Mr. Clark? Hello? I, I must speak with you. Who is this? Dr. Terrence Kine. Kine. Right. Ishimura's chief science officer. I, I studied the marker for the church. I'm done talking to unitologists. But, but, but the planet won't rest until the marker is returned. You you can't leave. Watch me. Watch <laughs> me. <laughs> Radiation hazard. Oh shit. Okay, good. Save station is on. Do this. Back. That was about the best use of the punch in the first game, and it was still really hard to aim. Alright, so there's a warhead down here that's about to... Oh, fuck me. Oh god, it's a splody arm. Yep. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Should I be doing that? No, I should not be doing Well, too late. I did it. <laughs> should I be exploding things next to the unstable nuclear device? Yeah, it seems like a good idea. Shish. Power required shit. Oh, they've only put these guys in here for me. This. I need you to not have a splody arm. There we 
go. That'll work. I need a battery for that. Wait. The battery I know about the one that fry. And these doors are locked, so it's in here somewhere. Like this. There you are. Let's get over here. I don't like that he's still making noises over there. Alright, we're not going to blow up the warhead this time. <laughs> Probably. Probably not going to blow up the warhead this time. That is, warhead released. Singularity core is quite difficult. Oh, that one stays locked, huh? USM Valor. G. No, big boom bad. No big boom. Can't finish game if big boom. Yeah. Alright, well now that we didn't blow up, save time. <laughs> didn't work. <laughs> that was all it took. God damn it. Shit. Threw an explosive at him and he didn't care. Alright, what else we got in the armory? Of course. Rooms. I wouldn't it pulse room. Oh, they actually wanted me to. Activate shooting range. I don't have time for this. You get like it actually did exist in the first game. You can you can waste some time in the shooting range. Um, it's best to use probably the pulse rifle since that's what they give you the most ammo for, but like getting scores Getting uh, high scores and stuff on the shooting range here like would give you health and Like health canisters and stuff like that that you could take with you. So it was like not a terrible idea. Oh wow They actually made it into a Like a live fire shooting range like that you move through like what do they call that a shooting scenario? Anyway, I think before it was just a, yeah, these these lockers unlock when you get high scores, so it looks like there's just the five, five levels of difficulty. But I got that. Why do they...
Remember he was somewhere I was supposed to go. Down no, this one. Ha! Ah, cold semiconductor. Good thing I went and checked. Okay, two block that wait. Those no sound like some unfortunate, but you know what they Oh, a line racks. Wow. Alright. Way we go. A kill house is one name for it. Okay. Yeah, I guess that kind of might have heard of that before. Yep, that is definitely your leg. I can't put it back on. I can't help. Sorry. Guess I could stay here until you die. There you go. That looks bad. That looks super not great. Well, why aren't you dead? Jeez. Large med pack schematics. I think I'll be able to buy those. You're not on the ship. You can't transmit to the ship. You wouldn't do that. Racks, flame ammo. Something over here. Funny. Okay. My inventory, darling. Oh wow, we're actually getting quite full of stuff. But mostly it is these dumb pulse rounds that I will sell. things. Thank goodness for auto saves. I actually tried to pick up some, pick someone's pocket and lost a crazy amount of rep. Okay. Well, I mean, 
Sometimes you just gotta live with the consequences of your actions. Saving like crazy, knowing that any one of these rooms that I could go, I go into, could get me killed. <laughs> but in like the Divinity game and everything, I just go, eh, I'm gonna try this thing, and people will say, oh, we should save in case we don't like that option. I'm like, I'm not saving. I'm just going to live with it, whatever the consequences of this action are. I'll save before a combat so that I can reload to the combat uh, if it goes poorly. I'm like, okay, yep. We don't go into that combat, I guess. That's game ending. But. Unknown biohazard detected. over time take a lot. <laughs> oh, buddy. Come on, get zapped. There you go. Alright, why don't you get zapped again? There it is. My feeling would be it should be a little bit harder to accident. Shouldn't. That's the thing about about uh, video game and the uh, context, textual commands. Like contextual commands can be super great. You know, okay, you just use to interact with them. But when the context can be talk or like murder. Needs to be a little harder to do the one you probably didn't intend. In this case, it's still But. I guess it's just always gonna be as long as we're still commands. Trade off. Anyway, in that case, then I'm glad. The Bowers reunition log. It wasn't just a nuke. They came loaded for war, seek and destroy. This was no patrol. They knew about the Ishimura. Someone knew. Yeah. We were all dead. From the moment we arrived. Yep. That am true, Hammond. Ooh. Let me conductor. I'm in the money. I'm in the money. That's some energy. Not a lot. 
pick up this one. Unfortunately, but the flame thrower's damage having not been increased by choice by me, uh, it means that in the context of this area, it's a class you normal. Things are so strong, you want to be able to walk down fast. So, need the uh, plasma better. You have to be hiding. I didn't notice that the rogue was still hiding from the last fight. Well, that's <laughs> that's kind of funny, honestly. <laughs> you never stopped hiding after the fight. But because you're controlling multiple characters, it was just overlooked. <laughs> I fucking forgot. Dumbass. Oh. That was stupid. <laughs> that was super stupid. This was a total waste of time because I still don't have that battery. Where's the fucking battery? Shit.
for backwards, let's see. Break. I'm gonna give it a moment to see if it uh, brings it or not. Okay. Opportunity. I guess it decided to freeze. So, I think we'll call it there. Um, 1.32, an hour earlier than I kind of intended. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to crash out the program. Where are there two? Oh, it was a direct X error? Direct X function, get device removed, reason failed with DGXIR, device hung, the GPU will not respond for commands. Driver, this error is usually caused by the graphics driver crashing, try installing, I, you know what the saddest thing about that is, I, before playing today, like, the last time I played, it was like, oh, by the way, your your driver's a little out of date. You should uh, you should really uh, update it. And I didn't that time. And I played through, and the only weird thing that happened was that there were, right when I started playing, the textures were a little off. And then after that, perfectly fine. But today I was like, oh, yeah, I'll just update the driver before I go. And, uh, <clears throat> and now I have a driver crash now that the drivers are updated. Like, yay. Good job, guys. Anyway... Yeah, we're going to call it there. I'll pick it back up later, maybe tomorrow, who knows. Anyway, thank you all for being here, especially you, Derek. Good to see you, buddy, and uh, I'll catch you later. Bye!